Hello students, today in your geometry class, we're going to be working on corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent, or CPCTC. Now, the purpose of this lesson is that at the end of it, you should be able to prove parts of triangles are congruent using CPCTC, which again stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, to make this a little bit easier to use, we use this to prove that parts of triangles are congruent. Now, every CPCTC proof needs to begin with proving two triangles are congruent. So using ASA or AAS or SSS, all of those things need to be proven first. And then to show that angles or sides are congruent, we use CPCTC. So, let's start with example one. Given angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD and, con and angle BDA is congruent to angle BDC, we're supposed to prove that AB, so AB and CB are congruent. So, let's start by taking a quick snapshot. So we're going to take, oh, that was odd. There we go. Take a quick picture of our given statement. So, step one. And this is given. Now remember, if we're keeping track of our angles, we've proven two angles right here, angle and angle. Now because the two triangles are touching, hopefully you remember that when two triangles are touching, we use reflexive. So we could say BD is congruent to BD, line segment BD. And the reason why we know this is because these are reflexive, or the reflexive property. And this is a side. Notice that the side falls in between the two angles. Therefore, we could say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD. And the reason why we know that is because of ASA. Now notice that we proved the two triangles are congruent first. Now that we've proven the two triangles are congruent, now we could say that line segment AB is congruent to line segment CB. So we can say that this statement is true because CPCTC. So again, step three, we have to prove the two triangles are congruent first. And then in step four, we could say the two sides are the same because of corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So for example two, same rules still apply. So line segment OM is congruent to line segment ER. Line segment ME is congruent to line segment RO because this is given. Step two. Again, two triangles are touching, so we could say OE is congruent to line segment OE because of the reflexive property. Now, we could say that the two triangles are congruent, so triangle OME is congruent to triangle ORE. Now we could say that these two triangles are congruent because of side, side, side. And again, we're trying to prove that the two angles are the same. So now we could actually say that angle M is congruent to angle R because 
of CPCTC. Now, it's your turn. Try the following problem and post your answers to Edmodo. First person will start, everyone else will just reply. That's it for now. See you guys next time.